Looking for the best APRS handheld ham radio? In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top APRS handheld ham radios, and we rated them according to features, functionality, ease of use, and value for money. So let's get started. Price information and all radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number three, Islands HD1 DMR. For our third pick, we have the Islands HD1, which is our choice for the best budget APRS ham radio. The potential of DMR shows wonderfully with the Islands radio, a combination of interesting features and digital technology can make it easier for some beginners. There is a viable overlap between mobile phones and their usability. While not necessary for hams, it is usually recommended that DMR register for a unique ID. This ID is somewhat analogous to a cell phone number and can be used for direct contact or even sending SMS texts. Islands HD1 DMR can store 200,000 numbers and work with 3,000 channels. Thanks to dual band compatibility, it can transmit and receive on analog as well as digital frequencies. It allows setting up APRS via the radio or through a code plug programming software. As is the case with APRS, the first setup can take some time as you go through various settings, but once done, it remains easy to use. This radio does a decent job with APRS transmit and receive, plus it can work as an APRS beacon as well. As a handheld radio, it has an impressive 3200 mAh battery that can last up to 16 hours in continuous use or 7 days in standby mode. The GPS on this device presents the location, but also altitude, bearing, and speed. This can come quite in handy in several situations and is especially useful for emergencies. Other notable features of this radio include FPP, front panel programming, and IP67, waterproofing. FPP means users can access all functions on the radio through its keypad and can set or customize features. The IP67 waterproofing means it can survive being submerged in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. The dual band function on the Islands HD1 DMR allows it to TX and RX on analog as well as digital frequencies. While the function is seamless, the digital approach of DMR is something of a departure from traditional hams. It offers some convenience of learning to beginners, but that comes more as a familiarity with digital devices like mobile phones rather than conventional ham radios. Overall, this is the best handheld APRS DMR radio for beginners. Number 2. Yaesu FT5DR For our second pick, we have the best premium APRS handheld ham radio, the Yaesu FT5DR. Setting up APRS is convenient on the Yaesu FT5DR, and much of the setup can be accomplished directly from the HD, though programming can work too. To start, users need to be on B-band with VFO mode. The frequency used for APRS in the USA is 144.390 MHz, which users will need to enter during setup. It takes a few steps, but isn't overly complex. As you look at the Yaesu FT5DR, it's impossible not to draw parallels with the lower model, the Yaesu FT3DR. Both radios have a similar design, features, and general functions. It's often said that Yaesu developed the FT5DR because the global chip shortage made it difficult to source the parts for the 3DR. Thankfully, rather than throwing together a radio with what was available, Yaesu took the time to make improvements on the radio. Yaesu FT5DR has better voice clarity, works better with Bluetooth, and a relatively cleaner look. It is slightly larger and bulkier than the FT3DR, but the 5DR has a cleaner profile. This is especially visible with the buttons on the side of the radios. The FT3DR has something of a bulge with the buttons, while the 5DR is sleeker. It's a small change, but it works very well for the aesthetics. Differences aside, both these radios belong to the Fusion lineup and share overlapping features. Related accessories, including the battery, are compatible between these models. Though the battery takes its sweet time charging, it does a great job when it's in action. The battery can last a Day, even when transmitting at the maximum 5 watt output RF power. The 5 watt output is fairly standard for handheld ham radios like the FTD 5DR, and this radio seems to handle it beautifully. The received audio also appears better and louder due to the use of a powerful 1 watt speaker. Yesu FT 5DR is a competent addition to the company's fusion radio lineup. The dual band ham radio can work with VHF and UHF bands, with the capability to listen to two frequencies simultaneously. There are two independent receivers to work on these frequencies. Two LED indicators above the display present visual feedback for the working of the A band and B band. A key feature of the FT5DR is the implementation of digital communication, where it's worth comparing this radio to its close competitor, the ICOM ID52A. ICOM's offering is slightly longer and bulkier than the FT5DR, though it maintains a similar overall form. A quick difference between the two is that the Yaesu ham radio has a touchscreen while ICOM 52 does not. The bigger question in choosing between these ham radios is whether you want Fusion or D-Star. 
Yaesu's implementation of the digital amateur radio employs C4FM communication with APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System. ICOM uses DSTAR to accomplish the same. This means that these ham radios transmit and receive data for information like GPS coordinates, texts, and images. However, the APR Yaesu's implementation generally works better than ICOM's DSTAR. Yaesu's use of C4FM also provides excellent features like automatic mode select, AMS, digital group ID, DGID, and smart navigation. When using features like smart navigation, users can track their location en route or save it to a micro SD memory card. Similarly, you could use the micro SD card to store pictures you intend to send or receive. A lot of data can go into the memory card. Yaesu FT5DR will also accept software updates through its micro SD card. Since so many features find their place in this expensive package, we expect it to be strong and rugged. The FT5DR doesn't disappoint on these points. The ham radio has an impressive build quality. It's rated IPX7, which means it's waterproof and can spend a few minutes submerged without being damaged. Number 1. Anytone AT D878U7 Plus is our choice as the best APRS handheld ham radio. Anytone AT D878UVII Plus is one of the better known DMR radios. This versatile radio is feature rich and although not cheap, it does offer good value for money. Available features include built-in GPS, Bluetooth, and the ability to transmit and receive APRS transmissions. The ability to work with APRS is kind of a big deal here. Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus model series is one of the first, perhaps the first, radio manufactured in China to include APRS. Conventionally, this technology shows up in radios manufactured in Japan for devices within the Yesu ecosystem. The radio does a decent job of TX and RX using APRS. It gets an improvement in APRS as compared to its previous versions, and it can transmit and receive analog and digital APRS. It takes a few steps and some time to set up APRS on this HD, but it's not all that difficult. Besides, though the options can take time to set up, they make APRS usage fairly convenient. The radio is compatible with DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2 so it shouldn't have trouble communicating with any DMR radio on the market. While it works on digital transmission, the handheld radio works as an analog transceiver as well. As a dual-band radio, Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus works with VHF and UHF bands. Shifting between digital and analog modes is quick and pain-free. The radio works on an impressive 3100mAh battery. That's enough to provide the radio with a lot of juice, and it makes good use of it. The maximum RF output power on VHF is 7 watts, though users can choose 5, 2.5, or 0.2 watts. Similarly, UHF has max TX power at 6 watts, though 5, 2.5, and 0.2 watts are also available. On that note, 5 watts is usually the max RF output for handheld ham radios. While more power seems luring, it's likely not a healthy choice. Smart money is on the low power and letting a good antenna or repeater do its job. An interesting thing here is the Bluetooth PTT. It's a button on a small strap that allows the user to speak on the radio without actually handling it. The button's a nice touch for going hands free, though the DMR radio supports other means as well. You could connect any Bluetooth headphones or headset with the radio for communication. There are other interesting features as well, like built-in GPS and front-face programming with VFO channels. The presence of FFP allows users to add repeaters and other frequencies directly to the handheld radio without first going through programming. So what do you think? Which of these is the best APRS handheld ham radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better?